Yep. Meow, meow, meow. Yep. Meow, meow. Yep. There's a, there's a cat. I swear I'm talking to a cat. Cats. Man's other best friend. But that friend who's like, always has an alternative motive and is consistently moody. We as a species have been praising these animals for centuries, from ancient Egyptians to your Aunt Muriel. But there are so many unasked questions. Like, how does one have a healthy relationship with a cat? That's today on Shortcuts to Life. Shortcuts to Life! Emma. Now I want to clarify something before we begin. I'm not necessarily what you call a cat professional. In fact, I've never really lived with a cat before. But my new roommate has one and for the past few weeks I've been... Learning. So everything you hear today comes from trial and error. Mostly error. Step number one, touch the right places. There are certain areas where you should never touch on a cat, namely the belly, which is baffling because the belly is the most joyful place to touch. Everybody loves being touched on the belly. Even though if it lies right in front of you, shows you its belly, and with its body language, it's like, please touch my stomach, and you're like, okay, I might as well touch it. Don't. Try reaching your hand out so the cat can smell it. If he or she approves the smell, then you're allowed to touch her head, her back, and pretty much that little arc to her tail. And that's it. Step number two, don't act out if the cat's not hanging out with you. Remember, it's not you, it's them. Apparently cats have their own agenda. That agenda being that you're living in their world, not the other way around. Even though you're feeding them, bathing them, taking them to the vet when they swallow twine and they shit themselves and then twine comes out of their ass and you're advised not to pull the twine because if you do, you might cut their intestines. And that's okay. Be the bigger man. Be the only man. Be the only human being in the relationship. Step number three, don't throw your cat on the couch. I know it's hard to believe, but cats don't like that. They're not your little cousins. They are cats. So just leave them on the floor where they're supposed to be. Step number four, feed them cat food. I know, I know your friends feed them cool things like lobster and chicken, but you don't really know what a cat is supposed to eat. So don't mess around. Don't feed them bugles because they're gonna end up puking and you will step on that puke. I guarantee you will step on that puke. And step number five is the most important one. Patience. Just have patience. They're a completely different species and they work a different way. Just let them be themselves. Eventually they will come to you. So just give it time for them to adjust to you and for you to adjust to them. And eventually you guys will come together and be best friends. Hopefully. Isn't that right? Isn't that right? Play it cool. Well, those are some helpful hints on how to have a healthy relationship with a cat. If you guys have any advice of your own, leave a comment below. Or if you just want to see how much you love cats, also leave a comment below. I'll see you guys tomorrow. I hope you guys have a Meow fixed weekend. I mean perfect weekend. Hey guys, before you run off and go to your thousands of parties you have this weekend, subscribe to the channel. That's right, official Yoni time. Just click right up here and you could subscribe to this guy. Right, I hear in the hallways at school everyone's like, do you subscribe to that YouTube channel, official Yoni time? And some kids just like, uh, what are you doing? This is a high school. Get out of here. And I'm like, I gotta run.